I'm down at the sea, that's the Irish Sea of course, and the uh, tide is just coming in full and it's very loud, it'll be getting quieter now as the tide goes out. But I was thinking about an unusual thing that happened about more than 20 years ago. Many of my relatives live on the west coast of Ireland and they're fishing people. There's like generations gone, hundreds, maybe thousands of years fishing in Galway, in Connemara. And I would always ask them because of my interest in natural history if they ever found anything, you know, unusual or interesting, anything that I might be, you know, had they seen any weird creatures around or what kind of things. And sharks, of course, were a favourite subject because they used to catch sharks occasionally. occasionally uh, they would be blue sharks, uh, which come into Galway Bay in the summer, um, and other species sometimes they'd see. But one day they were telling me a really unusual story. I thought they were joking when they told it to me first. But the story was that uh, they were throwing, they were gutting fish and throwing the remains over the side, as they often do. They used to do, now I think they just freeze everything. But this would have been back in the 1990s. And they had a new boat, and the boat was uh, 25 feet long and it had a cabin and everything, whereas they used to fish from open boats and do lobster fishing. Anyhow, uh, one of my uh, cousins said, he goes, I saw a great white shark. And I said, a great white shark? Uh, how did, I said, were, were we sure it was a great white shark? Or, I mean, how did you know it was a very big? And then he goes, well, it was solid white and it was about 50 feet long. And now when he said this, I thought, okay, you know, 50 feet long, great white sharks aren't really knowing to grow more than 20 feet. That would be an exceptionally large one. But then I thought, well, well he described it to me and he said uh, it had a blunt nose. And then I thought, it's, it's not a great white shark. I don't know what he saw. And being young at the time, I was thinking of what would be white with a blunt nose. Uh, and maybe he was exaggerating, it couldn't be 50 feet long, but he just thought it was because it was so big, you know. But of course it was wrong, he's really able to measure distances, and I was being kind of naive, innocent at the time, to think he couldn't do that. And uh, there were, there were, he wasn't the only one there, and I was, he had his son, and he was telling me his son was there with him, and they were boat coaching fish. And then he said, um, no, he, he uh, I, I, I assumed it might be something, I know it was a bit crazy that it could be something, you know, like a beluga whale. Because uh, I said it has a blunt nose, I showed him a beluga whale. And he said, no, no, that's a whale, I know, that's actually more like a dolphin. And he goes, I, I, we don't get those here, they're only up in the ice in the Arctic. And I said, yeah, fair enough, so he knew his stuff. He said, no, this was a shark. It was solid white, blunt nose, about 50 feet long, and it was we were terrified of it. It was so big. And he said it didn't put its head out of the water, it just hung behind their boat while they were throwing the remains of the fish over. But they could see it clearly, and it was just solid white. Now at the time, I just, as you know, I couldn't really, I was thinking, what could it possibly be? I'd never heard of anything like that. Now this is off Connemara. And I was kind of naive because I didn't realize, you know, I kind of assumed we knew almost everything there was to know about the seas and, and the world. In fact, I didn't, I mean, we've thousands of species have been discovered since then. Absolutely thousands and even whole habitats we didn't know existed. So, anyhow, I decided to look into it uh, and I, then I put it on the shelf I, I, and until the internet age came and I, started to find some interesting thing. There are in fact reports of enormous white colored sharks all around the world and these are something absolutely gigantic and uh, it's intriguing because now it it opens up a whole world of possibility and that there might actually be gigantic sharks living off Ireland. This is a mermaid's purse and this one is a dogfish mermaid's purse. Everything's still in it, okay. I'm not sure if there's an actual... It's going to 
turn into anything, but I'm putting it back in the sea. It's very low tide. So, there's a good chance of it putting it back in the sea. It might, although, you see, normally they're anchored. That's why they have those little tendrils at the end. And the seaweed it was anchored to has come off. That lifts it up. Look at this one wading in the water. So I think I'll try and get back into the sea. Maybe, maybe something good might happen to it. Well, it does look lovely. They're a beautiful thing. I think this is the lesser spot dogfish, which is also known as the. Uh, it's also known as the small eye cat shark or something like that nowadays. They change the name so often, but it'll always be the lesser spot dogfish to me. 